Hey everyone, Pupsker here. Today I want to go over how you can kill Profit Taker in Warframe, as that is one of the weekly Nightwave assignments right now. And I know Profit Taker is one of those considered like late game, end game type of bosses that's kind of hard to kill, so hey, why not have a little video going over how you can kill Profit Taker. Profit Taker, if you know what you're doing, isn't too bad all in all. There's a lot of min-max type uh, setups you can have, which includes essentially having a ton of different weapons, all with different elements on them with high damage, because that'll do damage to Profit Taker because of how Profit Taker works. I'll go over my general setup that I have here for just like simple Profit Taker. I'll go over pretty much what you should helmet on to anything because everyone always knows helmet thing Pretty much one ability onto any Warframe can make them a hell of a lot stronger depending on which ability you use. So without further ado, let's get into it. I decided to take Rhino on my Profit Taker journey because Rhino's always just one of those ease of use, simple, easy, strong Warframes to take. He has Roar, so that's just, you know, damage increase, and Iron Skin's or armor if you, you know, just want to pay less attention to trying to stay alive because Profit Taker will deal a lot of damage to you, so I would recommend having either setups, warframes, what have you, to either be invulnerable or just straight up not die as much or just, you know, have a lot of recharge, etc., right? Just don't die. I myself chose Iron Skin. I think I died three or so times because it's not like a perfect build or anything, don't get me wrong. Just something I quickly threw together. But if you have Augment mods, it makes Rhino a lot better, but I myself do not. So this is the build I threw on. Literally just uh, strength and duration pretty much and enough efficiency so I won't get completely messed up. Okay, because I have a streamline there. I would swap out Steel Charge here, but then I'm Capacity Locked there because that's just how that goes, but oh well. There's a lot of things you can take instead of that. You can take like Rifle, Secondary, like Rifle Amp, Pistol Amp. Really, take whatever you need to take feel comfortable doing this. Uh, I just have st <laughs> Steel Charge on. Worthless. I have Arcane Tanker on because specifically, it is very useful using the arc gun on this mission, and I would 100% recommend you use the arc gun because, you know, you should if you're doing Profit Taker, right? If not, that sucks, but I would use it because, you know, on arc gun equipped, you get a bunch of armor and you get an extra revive. Oh, wow, awesome. So it's really all in all pretty decent. Arcane Energized, just in case. Uh, I don't really care. You can swap this out, especially if you're solo, right? You can go to anything to make yourself a little bit tankier. This is decent all in all. Like, there's a lot of things you can take even for damage, so... Yeah, it's up to you. It's up to your playstyle. I would just say try to either make yourself tankier or make yourself do more damage. Either or is generally how you want to do it. So, the one helmet ability you can throw on to just boost your damage a ton. No surprise here, it's Eclipse, right? That is way stronger than Roar. If you want to throw it on Rhino, you can equip either Eclipse over Rhino Charge or Rhino Stomp because, you know, for bosses, you don't really want to use those. You can, you can definitely use Rhino Stomp if you want a speed decrease. It's just not really necessary, I find, with uh, this boss and I'm not specking towards it because that's way too much energy. If you always want, you can throw on your gear wheel any sort of energy or health uh, regen. Where are they? I can never remember what they're called because I never tend to use them, but yeah, health restores, energy restores. You can throw those on to make the mission easier. Again, I didn't, but hey, you can. Arc Gun Deployer, definitely want that on. Arc Wing Launcher, if you have it, definitely want that on. And if you can, Always fun to bring your Necromech because your Necromech is also really useful for this because you can have a second build on your arc gun and all in all that means if you have two arc guns kitted out for multiple stats, you can have a wide variety of high damage to get the Profit Taker boss done a lot faster. Or if you're lazy like me, you'll just swap around elements until you get the one you need. So that's what I would generally recommend for your loadout. My loadout is not at all perfect, don't get me wrong, 
I have this weapon here, my Tenet Flux Rifle, purely for the magnetic damage, everything else is too low, but the magnetic damage here is high enough to actually do a lot of damage, the attack speed's pretty high all in all, so that is why I have this. You can, again, just use whatever weapons you want, I could throw on like my Prisma Gricotta. I could probably throw on my Exceltra if I wanted to. I could do Toxin or I could do Impact Damage decently enough, but it wouldn't be amazing enough for me to want to do that, right? I had my Tenet Detrin here, which I actually didn't end up using. It had Viral, Radiation, and Heat on it, but I didn't really get to use this as much as I'd like because I was just tending to stick to the Arc Gun, right? My Parasesis, you can swap, by the way, the elements on the Profit Taker, either by using your Void Attack, Void Beam, with your Operator, or by attacking it with a maxed rank Parasesis. Because of the reset sentient damage resistance, I guess it kind of works the same. Goddamn hotfix deploying, don't worry about that though. So if you have a max rank Parasesis, you can alternatively just melee attack Profit Taker to reset it instead of using your just general arcane void damage. And then finally, my art gun is equipped as follows. Okay, so you have Mossalon for the Tenno loadout, right? Mossalon for the heavy weapon. This is the one you use on the arc deployer, like arc gun deployer. And then the Necromech Mossalon will be the Mossalon that is specifically on your Necromech. So that's why I was saying you can kit these two out differently. So like this one, I think I have Radiation Toxin, right? And then this one here, my dog just like took my headset off, that little goob, also has Radiation Toxin. Okay, I'm not original, I didn't swap it out whatsoever, I'm boring. But a lot of the damage, if you get Radiation, ton of damage, you'll kill it really fast. You get Toxin, ton of damage, you'll kill it really fast. Puncture and Impact, I was killing it with that as well because I thought, why not? But all in all, your arc gun just does a lot of damage. Feel free to use my builds if you want. They're not perfected or anything, don't get me wrong, but they got the do job done decently enough for me. Okay, so let's talk about the Profit Taker fight itself now, as the fight takes quite some time. I think it took me about 15, 20 minutes in total. It has pretty much four phases. All of them tend to be in general, the same type of stuff. It's just pretty much fight it, go do this, fight it, go do this, fight it, kill it, end it, yada yada, right? So the Profit Taker boss fight has many, many attacks and abilities. They're all pretty noticeable. There's like the ground slam, there's a bunch of cannons, rockets, there's the shields that pop out. All in all, pretty simply, just don't go near it. Stay off the ground when it does uh, ground slams and just try to avoid all of the flying around missiles. Easier said than done, I should say. But that's why I, I myself took Rhino. I died a couple times anyways. I knew I'd take some hits, right? It's not a perfect run. I don't care. I just wanted to get it done for the night wave. Again, if you want a perfect run, equipped multiple weapons, arc gun setups with high amount of varying elements and high damage. And then you'll just be good to go damage wise. And of course, Mirage's Helminth Eclipse, 10 out of 10, huge damage boost if you want a min-max. So the boss fight itself is simple. Profit Taker will spawn in, I think it has like two or three spawn points that it could be in, but it gets marked anyways. So you want to fly on over to Profit Taker, right? That's step one. Fly on over and then simply do the boss fight kind of the same way it worked in the third Profit Taker phase or heist, I should say. Profit Taker will only be able to take damage from one element at a time, and that'll be the element that it's pretty much showing through its green, call it whatever color you will, on its face, right? So always use either your Operator Void Beam or the Parasesis, and that will swap the element. Or you can wait naturally, I think it's 20 or 25 seconds, and the element will swap, but that doesn't make any goddamn sense, so don't do that. All in all, what you want to do, keep swapping the elements until you can do damage to it with whatever weapons and elements you have equipped. Doesn't matter. Equipped whatever you want. You should be fine either way, as long as it has higher damage. So, simply just attack it anywhere. Break its shields down, okay? 
And then once it shields all the way down, you'll have to take out each one of its legs, four legs, right? Throw your arc gun on, does a lot of damage, just wipes the legs out. And then you'll have to do damage to the main body. I think it lets you take it down 25% at a time, right? So kind of like four separate phases in that regard. Once you do that, it'll shoot out pylons, go destroy the pylons, right? And then rinse and repeat. You'll want to go fight the Prophet Taker, like, or boss Spooter again, take its shields down, take out its legs, attack the body, and then it'll pretty much regen again, shoot out more pylons. It'll do that, and then the final, final phase, it'll give you five minutes to kill it finally, right, on its last phase. So, take out those shields as fast as you can. Try to just swap the elements to your stronger elements if you can. Take it out, then take out its legs, take out its body, bada bing bada boom, you've essentially killed Profit Taker. The boss fight, again, it's not that hard, it's just, if you have the proper preparation, it'll be fine, right? If you have that, you'll be a-okay. I threw on Rhino as well because guess what, naturally not getting staggered is really nice. Having on something like Prime Surefooted is a huge convenience. Building tanky and damage is great. And then just throw on all of the damaging elements and you'll be good to go. But again, you can throw on whatever tankiness you want. As long as, you know, it works for you and you don't die, you'll be good to go. So. That, I would say, is my Profit Taker boss fight guide. All in all, pretty simple boss fight if you know what you're doing, but it might take some getting used to, and it's pretty normal to die a handful of times, at least when you start off and you don't have a perfect Profit Taker boss fight setup build. And you know what? That's fine. This is Warframe, right? Who really cares if you die? It's a PvE game. It affects you not at all. Profit Taker is a boss fight for A, standing, and B, credits. So it's a great boss fight. I would recommend people run it during any of the two times credit weekends. And all in all, just do it, okay? It's good, and get the night wave done ASAP. If you're running with a group, makes it way easier because, you know, you can all coordinate elements if you want, or you can all just go ham whenever you want. It's great. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Like the video if it helped, subscribe. You can always check out my Twitch at twitch.tv slash pupsker. You can join the Discord at discord.gg slash pupsker and just any of my social medias. Hit the notification bell on YouTube if you want to know whenever I make a video. And thank you. I will see you next time. Peace.